you ever found yourself checking into a hotel, only to feel like you're not alone? Do the aged walls and echoing hallways make you question who, or what, might be sharing the room with you? Tonight, we journey through chilling tales that will make you reconsider your next hotel stay. So, grab your room key and tread softly as we delve into three hauntingly true stories about hotels that are anything but restful. Let's begin. Story number one. Echoes in room 313. John was a businessman who often stayed at the Grandiose Hotel, located in the heart of Chicago. One evening, after finishing a long meeting, he found that his usual hotels were fully booked. On a whim, he decided to revisit the Grandiose. The staff welcomed him warmly and led him to room 313. The room was comfortable but had a strange atmosphere, as if it was holding its breath. John unpacked his suitcase, tried to shake off his unease, and started to work on his laptop. Around midnight, he started to hear soft whispers that seemed to be coming from the walls themselves. He stopped typing and listened closely. The whispers became clearer but remained indecipherable, like an incantation. Determined not to let his imagination run wild, he put on his headphones and resumed work. However, as he did so, the room's temperature suddenly dropped. He felt his chair vibrate slightly, almost as if someone was walking behind him. He turned around sharply, but there was no one. The room was just as empty as it had been. Unnerved, he decided to call it a night. Just as he was drifting into sleep, he heard a soft knock on the door. Recalling the whispers, he hesitated but decided to answer it. Opening the door, he found no one there but felt an icy wind rush past him, making the curtains fly as if they were alive. He locked the door and rushed back to bed, covering himself in blankets. Despite this, he felt a sudden weight at the foot of his bed, as though someone had sat down. Story number two, the Midnight Bell. Sarah, an avid traveler, decided to explore the scenic countryside of England. She booked a room at the Meadowbrook Inn, a picturesque hotel that seemed frozen in time. Upon her arrival, she was greeted by a friendly staff and led to her room, adorned with vintage furnishings. Her room had an old rotary phone on a wooden table. The hotel manager explained that the phone was just for decoration, as it was not in working order. Intrigued, Sarah decided to explore the local town before returning to her room for a good night's sleep. Around midnight, Sarah was startled awake by the ringing of the old rotary phone. She stared at it in disbelief, wondering if it was a dream. When it rang a second time, she picked up the receiver hesitantly. Is anyone there? She asked, her voice trembling. There was no reply, just static. Concerned, she placed the receiver back and tried to sleep. However, an hour later, the phone rang again. This time, when she picked it up, she heard a faint voice. Help me. Room 217. Sarah immediately informed the hotel staff, who assured her that room 217 had been vacant for years. Despite their assurances, Sarah couldn't shake off the feeling that something was terribly wrong. The next morning, she checked out of the hotel, unable to shake the ghostly experience. Story number three, The Uninvited Guest. It was in the quaint town of Charleston where Emma decided to spend her vacation. A history enthusiast, she was drawn to the notorious Glenburn Hotel, infamous for its reports of haunted activities. Upon arrival, Emma received a warm welcome from the staff and was escorted to her room, a lavish suite furnished with antique decor. After settling in, she decided to read through a guest book left on the nightstand. The entries seemed normal until she reached the last page, which had a single line written in a hurried scrawl. Do not answer the door past midnight. 
Intrigued but skeptical, she brushed it off as a joke and decided to tour the historic building. She admired the architecture, took photos, and enjoyed her dinner at the hotel's restaurant. Later, she retreated to her suite and prepared for bed. But as the clock struck midnight, she remembered the unsettling note in the guest book. Just then, she heard a knock at her door. Three slow, deliberate knocks. Her heart pounding, she peeked through the peephole but saw no one. The corridor was eerily empty. She stood still, contemplating whether to open the door. But then, another knock. Louder this time. Summoning her courage, she opened the door but found no one there. She closed the door and double-locked it. Just as she convinced herself that she was being paranoid, her room went pitch black. The lights had gone out. Panicked, she fumbled for her phone's flashlight and tried to turn the lights back on, but nothing worked. It was as if the room had isolated itself from the rest of the world. That's when she heard it. The sound of someone, or something, breathing heavily in the dark corner of her room. Terrified, Emma grabbed her belongings and bolted out of the room. She sprinted down the corridor and straight to the reception where she recounted her experience. The night clerk listened intently but didn't seem surprised. We've had reports about that room, he finally said. You're not the first, and I'm afraid you won't be the last. Some guests are just more perceptive than others. Emma left the hotel immediately, vowing never to return. But the experience haunted her for years, making her wonder who or what had been her uninvited guest that night. Friends, these stories serve as a reminder that some places hold secrets darker than we could ever imagine. Always do your research before checking into an unknown hotel. Remember, you may not be their only guest. I hope these tales have given you chills. If so, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more haunting experiences. And always remember, life is short and unpredictable. Make the right choices and respect every moment you have.